You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Massive and nearly ate me. And where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. <laughs> What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and we are finally back with some red dead redemption 2 managed to get my account back and by the looks of things from my cloud saves it seems like someone hacked into my account and started playing the game on their own so i don't know how it happened but i somehow managed to get my account back um because rockstar was completely ignoring my emails just flat out ignoring me but uh yeah if we go into <laughs> where's it the story then if i try load these uh, this one here and this one here these two are not my saves at all um i lost my account by the seventh uh month last time i played was this one so someone got my account and started playing the game for themselves which you know fair enough um just let me finish the series first and then you can take it back um so we are back with red dead i cannot remember where we were i think from looking at our last episode was where we played the poker on the ship and then yeah we sort of managed to escape that and then now yeah i'm gonna have a tough time kind of remembering it's been about three or four months since i've played red dead so but i'm so excited to get back into this game this is easily one of my favorite series on the channel and it's sort of the one that i started this channel with i mean properly so we're gonna get back into it i see we've got a mission here with sadie adler and i don't think this is one we've done before on the channel i'm gonna have a quick double check but uh if not we're gonna jump straight into the sadie mission okay so it seems like we haven't done this mission at least i don't think we have last thing we did was the poker mission on the boat in the last episode so we are going to jump straight into the sadie mission these red dead episodes are probably going to be slightly longer format just so you guys know the episodes are probably going to be around an hour ish just because i want to start you know not wrapping up the game i don't want to be done with it but i i don't want this series to go on forever i got a lot of games coming out this this year that i'm planning on playing and i i do want to start making some good progress with red dead so be prepared for some slightly longer episodes hope you guys stick around and watch how them you doing, Mrs. Adler? how are you Maybe let's get right is, uh, into the well, sadie mission you fellas. Yes. and now you and dutch have joined high society oh lord above yeah it seems so i think my days in polite society are over well I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Did you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Adler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. I'm wondering like if we've her, done this be before. Much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now. The trolley bus station. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. <laughs> I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along well, better. Every well, time easy. we do something with make Micah. Very funny. Who hits the fan? What is that? Oh. <laughs> that the hell have they done to me? is nasty. Look, they have a tree line. Everybody take Everybody oh, we got some coming. friends. Okay. Oh, of course I don't have my nice pistols on me. Woo! 
Okay. I'm doing just fine from up here, Dutch. Okay, 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 okay. Hurry up, Arthur. Oh, I kind of liked Kieran. He was starting to grow on me. Oh yeah. Still remember how to shoot. Oh, there's so many of them. Fall back to the house in time. Okay, let's retry that one again. Dang it, there's a lot of them. Man, I really like Kieran. <laughs> He's really growing on me. Come and say it. Hold on, girl. Where are these guys? I need to eat some food. Now's not the best time to be doing it, but Got him taken care of. Dang woman. She can take care of herself. Oh. What am I supposed to? I thought we were. Little bit rusty, little bit rusty. Okay, let me just follow her. There is so many of these guys. It is ridiculous. Oh, there's a guy right here. It's kind of annoying they didn't give me like the opportunity to fetch my my guns from my horse. You go, Charles. Okay, Arthur needs some food. Soon he's gonna give him a lot of health. Okay, we got him. Leave him here. Cowards! We okay? Man, we are dropping like so. flies. We need to get out of this here. place now. Uh, poor oh. kid. 
That's nasty, Mr. Swanson, nasty. Could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Oh. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man. I even really scooped out his eyeballs. That's nasty, so nasty. Or... So can I. Ooh. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems. We need to get out of America. Opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. <laughs> you will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. Time to clean up camp a little bit. Man, that was brutal. What a way to get back into the series. Old Kieran. Uh, man, you I did actually life. really I like could them. Not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. Mm -hmm. It's called revenge. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Morning. Okay. What mission do we have now? We got Dutch. And we got a stranger mission. But this is a, a like a yellow stranger mission. I think I'm going to quickly go check out this one. And then we'll go see Dutch. Okay, so let's... Let me make my way over to there. And then we'll be back in just a second. Hello, mister. Okay. So this is where this little stranger's mission is. Let's take a quick look at what it is. I don't know why it's Good yellow. Morning, now, Good morning, sir. Officer, how are you? Okay. Looks like it's sort of inside here. No, it's not inside here. It's this. Oh, it's these guys here. Hey, do I know you? Mr. I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. <laughs> uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. We did okay. not do that. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flags. Oh, I remember these guys. Yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. You have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger. And we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. Yeah, that's for it's sure. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil so under their land. a huge mess, this whole so Native American thing. They want me to try and steal it. Obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, no. but we're very desperate. No, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. Well, that I can do. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. 
The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, an appointment with the Senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. All right, meet Eagle Flies near... Okay, we, we're not going to do that now. But that's a good mission Come to, to do on. To do on? That's a good fire. mission to do. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, uh, let's go meet Dutch. He wanted us to meet him by that... Uh, by the trolley station or whatever so let's go see what he has in store for us okay dutch is somewhere here i assume he's back here yeah there we go oh wait 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 before we do this mission i need to stock myself up because again this game has removed me of my weapons Get the Lancaster and that one. All right. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's see what Dutch has for us. And let it. There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. Oh, Couple calm days down. In this place, you turned into some clock watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Yeah, Forever. that's for sure. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay to Australia from money America for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Which part of America they are they at? Where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? No Tahitians, one. I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? in there so we are gonna rob that place well i didn't think we was fixing the plumbing i don't know if you have noticed but we are on the clock are we doing it right I now we got a few days before the pinkerton show and then well, we're done now we need money bronte said okay this we're doing it right now money. come on all right ladies and gentlemen this is a robbery, this is a robbery. stick them up as i tell you and none of you will die annoy me and you all Give me all your down. stuff. Mr. Check that room back there. I got this oh, wait. That's your choice. Not mine. Oh, I don't want to rob these guys. Open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. It's making my honor go down. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance inside. Yes, of course. Now, I'm going to need everything you got. There's nothing much here. There's Mercy, nothing please. really here. You're sure? Yes. Oh, that made my honor go down so get much. And get ready for company. Oh. Oh. It ain't Behave. worth dying. We don't want to hurt any of them. Anything else on me? Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. Oh, well done, Dutch. We found a place with absolutely like zero money. Well, it's got There's something. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. We got you surrounded. That's greasy son of a bitch. He set us up. You think this seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur? What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something. Run. The trolley. The trolley. Get on the trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Who gave us this tip? He said Bronte. Yeah, of course he set us up. I mean, that should be pretty obvious. 
<laughs> Arthur, this is no time. This is no time for sarcasm. This is the one time I agree with Doug. Keep shooting the trees. I don't want to shoot these cops, man. We are really moving here. I'm trying to be a good guy, and you guys are making me. Broke it. The thing's broke. Hold on! Oh. Oh. Well, this turned into a wonderful job. Thanks, Mr. Bronte. Thanks for the tip. Start running, boys. Where do we go? This is our chance to move. Let's go. Okay. Stop running in circles, Arthur. Why is he walking so slow? Oh, we gotta wait for Dutch, apparently. Too many shots for that guy. Get him. Bro, I'm busy aiming directly at this this guy. I need to get the the repeater out again. I've got no ammo for the dang thing. See if I can pick up some ammo with these guys. Oh, there's a guy right here. Why am I losing honor? I don't want it. Wait, did it give? Oh no. Yeah, it gave me the horrible gun again. Oh my gosh. I need to actually sell that gun and throw it away. Get it out of my inventory. Oh, I need health bad. Yeah, I'm losing honor. Man, I'm losing so much honor in this mission. I don't want to do this why is it every time we do something like any sort of robbery then we end up shooting up half the town Awful. 
shot that guy point blank with like six bullets and he's still fine Get us out of here. Oh, just head straight for the bridge. Yeah, I am selling this stupid gun. It's so terrible. Is there no way that I can set like a default? $65 bounty for shooting up the entire town. I can pay that off in, in a second. We're fine. Don't worry. Don't even worry about it. We need to get out of San Denis though. Like, we've overstayed our welcome definitely now. How much do we make from that clear. bank job or the Charlie job? Probably $10? You know what, Next time. It's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. <laughs> oh, and a quarter. Don't <laughs> forget the quarter. It's totally Shut worth up, it. Arthur. He set us up. Of course he did. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. Dutch do do seems to, to trust everyone. What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We're gonna rob Angelo Bronte. We just need money. Yeah, we always need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that, especially after that, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Yeah, I wish you got a little bit more than fifteen dollars and a quarter. Like Arthur says, don't forget the quarter. Okay. There's got to be a way I can I can favorite a specific gun because this stupid ugly ass pistol double action revolver keeps getting put into my inventory. Okay, we are now extremely wanted in Saint Denis, uh, but I want to go to the weapon. Sh the gunsmith i'm gonna make my way to the gunsmith quickly uh just to see if i can uh, either sell that weapon or do something i don't know otherwise what missions do we have oh we got the eagle flies one i'll meet you guys over at the eagle flies mission and then we go from there mister why did you leave me here <clears throat> mister you gotta get me out please uh, you're still down there Yes, I'm still down here because nobody will help me. This guy is still do down here. Please. You know what? We're not in roads anymore. Let's uh let's see if we can help this guy. But first let me let me do some shopping. Hey, no customers over there. Don't need that kind of behavior in here. What's what? with you? How do I save this All dude? Oh, hey. I want to see what's in that basement of yours. Show me. Right now. Nothing to no worse down there, I swear it. Well, why don't I be the judge of that? 
There we go. Now we got it. We we don't see what's in your basement. Such a shame to wake him. Uh huh. You know, you can always come back after he wakes up. This guy's gonna try something. You, you should stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way. Oh, oh thank God. Don't get shot. Oh. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? Don't that shoot crazy me, please. Maniac put me just, in it. Just he leave us I'm be. His kid's son kidnapped me. He did. I look like a kid. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, finally. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, you, you I'm sick sorry. Son of a... Please forgive me. This guy's a maniac. I know it was wrong. I just couldn't face that he was gone. I was teaching Sammy how to hold the rifle proper out by the river. The recoil shot him backwards. And then what? He slipped into the river. Uh. The water pulled him downstream so quick. It all happened so fast, I didn't know what to do. I searched up and down that river bank for days. But I couldn't so you my boy. kidnapped I someone. I miss him so much. And you! You remind me of him. You look just like him. <laughs> what is this guy wearing? So look sorry. at his haircut. Please forgive me. It's too late for apologies. You just count yourself lucky that I don't kill you for what you did. Don't know what else you want from me. Take what you want. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna leave him be. <laughs> Sounds like the poor man suffered enough. Now I've seen it all. Man, I have lost a lot of honor in the past few missions. We're gonna get it back. Okay, I will meet you guys over by Eagle Flies. Okay, we got Eagle Flies and then we got Dutch as well. Let's do let's do eagle flies first. Thank you. Yeah, I'll meet you guys over at Eagle Flies. We managed to save that poor poor boy from being trapped in, the, in that guy's basement. Hey there, mister. It's a job well done. But uh, let's go see what Eagle Flies has. We gotta go steal that documentation for them. So uh, let's make our way over there. Okay, we are here by Eagle Flies. I think that was his name. Wait. Let me make sure that I've got my weapons on. For this mission? Is that the place we're robbing? Oh my gosh. Of course I can. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know Stealthy. I'm Stealthy. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Assassin. Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. Let's go hide in this wagon here. You are quick. You could climb into the back of that wagon. Made it. Well, that was simple enough. This is gonna be a fun mission. My stealthy, stealthy assassin mission. Obviously, need to do this without being spotted. 
should be easy enough. Got some throwing knives. Um, got some tomahawks. We should be alright to do that. I mean, we're not very hidden in this cart, but uh, hopefully we make it in without being spotted. Should be fine as long as they don't look in the back. That you, Al? Hey, Tom. Pick it up. Yep. We're supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. This guy's like. Okay, it doesn't check the back at all. Cool. That's fine. I can clearly see him. I wonder if I can get out at any point. No, I have to wait. Ooh, Arthur's freezing. Getting a bit cold. Alright, I'm gonna start loading up. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here before he starts loading up. Let's prep. Yeah, we got some throwing knives. And yeah, let's get that out. Uh, I wonder, do I go up onto the roof? Yeah, let's see what we can do up here. Maybe I can make my way around this way. Uh, what happened? Was I spotted? Dan Barry destroyed the documents. Okay, clearly I was spotted by someone. Don't know who. But anyway. Oh, don't make me do this all over again. Oh. Okay, I'll skip this part. We'll be back in when, uh, when we actually have something to do again. I don't know who spotted me, but it, anyway. Okay. I need to do this mission properly. All right. I'm gonna start loading up. I honestly don't know how to do it, but we're gonna figure it out. Maybe I'm just going through the bottom floor here. I want to see if I can avoid taking anyone out, to be honest. I don't want to have to kill any one of these people. They're just working class people. Trying to make a living. Okay, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, please. Okay, we're good, we're good. I think. Oh my gosh, there's a guy right there. Aw, oh, dang it. Well, we still got him. You must be Danbury. <laughs> what? Will you be quiet? I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. One about oil near Wabiti. Hey. Hey. Come on. Danbury. Come on. Think Mine is a terrible thing to lose. Okay, I'm not going out that way. Let's take the foul and bounce. You're doing good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. Yes. I'll 
Everything's fine. Now stay quiet. Our head office will send me back to get you. <laughs> okay, let's break out. Let's get back to Eagle Flies. Well, thanks. Uh, 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 oh, that was the wrong button. I think that was Eagle Flies. Creating a, a distraction for us. Let's get out of here. Where's my horse? There it is. using a bow and arrow against guns. This guy's a legend. Escape the factory with eagle flies. I love this guy's name. He's so cool. He's on a horse and he's using a bow and arrow. This guy's amazing. Stealing all my kills. Damn, there's no one to shoot. Oh, there's one more guy. Get him. Yeah, I think we're in the clear. Silent. That's right. You. you saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope, but who knows? Hopefully that file Maybe helps. These will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Uh -huh. I wonder how much I got paid for that. Oh, 250 bucks. Nice. Oh, the gang takes half of it. Oi. Come on. I did that all by myself. That's not Come fair. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we have. Hmm. I think we have time for one more mission. I say let's do it. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a longer episode, but uh, I say we have time for one more mission. So it seems like Dutch wants to speak to us. So I will be back as soon as I get there. Okay, we are back in camp. It seems like uh Let's go talk to Dutch. Let's see what he has in store for us. You all right? Hello, Karen. Yeah. Hello. Miss Tilly. Yeah, let's see what uh See what Dutch has for us. I know he said he wanted us to to go rob the bank. So, so I wonder if that's what we're going to do now. Get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches. I thought he said Jose we agreed with, with us. Right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't oh. about revenge, Jose. Angelo Bronte don't mean This is about to me. Bronte, this not is about the bank. The fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town, a bank that he no doubt protects, a town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. Just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before it's always the, the last job. Out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital. And we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. 
Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. That's He'll just once revenge. All. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and hmm. usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat? We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. One if by land, okay. two if I by sea, and three if by swamp. Thought, I mean, he does kind of make okay. a point. Like, All we do right. sort of need to get him out the way. But I also do kind of agree with Hosea. Um, seems like anytime we do anything, things just go wrong. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. This move on Bronte. Is it for the bank job? Or revenge? Definitely for, for revenge. Station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made by getting a job to support 20 <laughs> people. Let alone what it Not by robbing bags. 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch. Is this Tahiti plan really gonna work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending I over backwards to make a have a plan. Us. I know, but 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 oh. but. When did you become? Looks like he was gonna turn right there. He baited me. If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. Man of many words. Anyway, here we are. Dutch Vanderlyn. Let me do the talking. It's often got a lot of words and not a lot to back it up, to be honest. A lot of the time. Thomas. This is our friend Thomas. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. Thomas we doesn't seem to like him either. Social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Let's do it. Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. I kind of want to get my... We'll take more than a prehistoric Okay. Seems like I can't get my weapons. Great. Uh, I just want to 
see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. <laughs> Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say Don't so disrespect Dutch, my name like that. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Hmm. I don't like this. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company, Mr. Arthur. He's literally an alligator right there. Not this one's empty. All right, I got a few more set over this way. Come on, I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. It's a snake. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. There's another one right there. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? This guy is just ignoring the massive alligators all around. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yeah, some strange people around these parts. Quieter than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Anything in here? Nope. These guys are like full body deep in this. Oh, I got a crayfish. There was something in there. Nice. You would not catch me dead doing this. Wandering around through the swamp. This deep, ah, uh, with all these alligators around, not a chance. How's this guy still alive? Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Yeah, nope, not for me. No, thank you. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find. I think Jules is dead, is what I think. I think Jules has become an alligator dinner. This is quite cool, but also terrifying. Get a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. I got it. Guess yeah. something didn't want to be caught. My God! So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, lovely! Just what I want to hear. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Where's that boat? I don't want to be walking through the swamp no more. Hold up. This guy's either really, really brave or really, really stupid. 
And I think I'm leaning a little bit more towards the latter of that option. Okay, can we go now? My God, there's no shortage of them. Ghost not. Us or them? Exactly. Us. Come on. Really should have run into Jules by now. Jules is I dead, bro. Split up so we can search both sides. Aww. Okay. Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Oh, well, split up, gang, and look for clues. kids is how the gang died a horrible alligator death okay I can sort of run that makes things a little bit better no. what's in this hole Jules, where are you? Hey, someone there? Uh, Jules. I take it that's Jules. Well, it doesn't seem like that was an alligator induced injury. Uh, oh, wait, he's in the tree. Um, I don't want to get near him. Get out of the water, Arthur. Chase me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. I... Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I got the scale. It's over here. <laughs> Stuck. Oh, Arthur Morgan. You're gonna get eaten by a gator. I got it loose. Jump. Good man. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. If it's so, uh, if it's that big, I doubt this boat is going to help us. Friends of mine, I'll explain later. Jules, we are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought it was going to be out here. This is probably going to be quite a, a quite long episode. Tree, this is going to be a very long episode, I think. Thomas, twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry too. Because this is a long and mission. I, I didn't think it would be that long. Woo! I think we had a tree stump. Need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. It <laughs> wasn't a tree stump. Jules is gonna die. <laughs> Long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here. If the guns loaded, you'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Oh, there he goes. Shit. He won't kill. No, I'm going in. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. Oh, don't make me do it. Jules, I'm coming. Even though I don't really want to do it, but I'm coming.
coming Jules man this is like a horror movie oh my gosh I'm coming Jules how is this guy still alive this uh this gate is playing with him let's get to land please oh that's a lot of blood oh no I love how they're like, don't look behind you. Oh, oh God, no. Fire off Please a couple die. of warning shots just to pretend you care. Oh. I got you covered. Oh, I'm running out of stamina. This mission to be over with. It's double. Oh my gosh, this thing is massive. I think he's going. He's not dead though. Big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. This guy's lucky to be alive. Okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he's oh, a okay. miracle worker. If he don't get a fever, we can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. His back? Look who's back. God damn it. Man, this thing is huge. I don't even think I'm hitting it. How is this thing still alive? We still have to get make our way to Angelo Bronte. That might be for the next episode. Be okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you were. That was the, the one in the water, water yeah. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Uh, Jules been bitten. Uh, oh my God! There's a monster out here. Uh, He's the been legendary gator. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you, both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll okay, so boys. we're not. Meet you back here, Arthur. We're not doing this one right now, maybe. Arthur, old Bronte, bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. Be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. 
Or is it going to cut straight into the next mission? Uh, maybe not. Seems like not. Okay. That is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys are back. Oh, well, excited to be back with the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. I am definitely excited to be playing this game again. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. So we can catch you in the next episode. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.